What's going on guys, Aaron here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video is very special because today is the EFL Football League fixtures release. And the fixtures have been released and I've done a very special video based on today's. Right, so, guys, so here we go, this is what I've been telling you about. That as the fixtures have been released, is that I'm going to be doing my EFL League 2 football table predictions. And I know these are only going to be predictions, but don't go too rough on me about them because I know some of them may be, some of them may and may be sort of correct to you guys, but if they're not, it's just a prediction at the end of the day really. So I'm going to tell you who I put down on the table, in which position, and I'm going to say why. But as the edit page is now being refreshed, I can't tell you the um, form every team's been on, but I wish I could though. If every page didn't refresh, I would have told you the form of every team and what they've been on. But let me just turn the camera a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. Right, so from the 24th to the 19th position, this is a bit of an eh a decision. So I've gone with Cheltenham Town, Lincoln City, Forest Green Rovers, Chesterfield, Newport, and Yeovil Town. Now, we've Forest Green Rovers, they are newly promoted to the EFL League 2 because they've never touched EFL League 2 before. They were in the Conference League and they got newly promoted last season to the, the Conference, uh, to the League 2, sorry. And I think Lincoln also got promoted in that table as well because they, they got automatic promotion, but Forest Green Rovers got promoted from playing at Wembley and I can't, can't remember who he played but it was also a good game for them because the next crew player plays for Forest Green Rovers and as you guys will know it is Mark Ellis who plays for Forest Green Rovers so we'll, we'll be up against him next season which will be pretty good. <clears throat> now with that bottom, bottom lot there I'd say by thinking of the teams that I don't know how well they're done in the transfer window or how well they're doing. I'm thinking just Cheltenham Town might not reach it this year because, well, because I think they ended at the bottom of the table anyway because well, obviously they didn't, didn't do well underneath their manager. But Cheltenham fans or any fans I've just mentioned on the bottom of the table, let me know how you think your team did. But I'm just saying I don't think Cheltenham Town will do it this season. But even though Lincoln City and Forest Green Rovers were newly promoted, I also I don't think they've got a chance in League 2 to be fair. Even though they're in the Conference League, which might be the easiest league to be fair to get out of. It. But just thinking of Forest Green Rovers, I'm sorry to guys fans, but Forest Green Rovers just sounds like a Sunday League team. It does, it sounds like a Sunday League team in, but I'll put you guys 20 seconds because I just don't think you'll crack it this year in. League 2 to be fair, because I know some decent teams, I know some of the teams on here, I've got the, um, I've got decent signings, but the table is here by the way, but that's what I'm saying for that one. Now for Newport and Yeovil, I don't know if you had a great season or not, because I think Newport and Yeovil just won't be bad, I think Yeovil might have a good chance at, at this season, but I don't I think they were to I'm giving you some my detail after I will tell you a load of information if I could if I knew the form of the team or what is it. Alright, so we're gonna go from the 18th to 13th position now. Now some of the fans may be thinking of why have you put that team there? Well I'm about to say. Now in 18 to to 13th position, I've got Crawley Town, Lancefield, Wickham Wanderers, Morecambe, my team, Crew Alexandria, Notts County, Greensby Town, and uh, uh, Notts County, that's about far as we're going. So from the 18th to 13th position, I've got Crawley Town, Lancefield, Wickham Wanderers, Morecambe, Crew Alexandria, and Notts County. Okay, so now you've been thinking. I've been mostly thinking, why have you put crew 14 below Knox County? 
well, we've got lots of county and crew finished in that bowl. Crew finished below in lots of county last season, just a few points below. I'm going to say Crew are not going to look for a chance at it this season. I know Crew have got some decent signings to start with, and you're about to get a good sign for them, but we're getting to the fair, which is, hasn't got much longer on this point. And if you guys are wondering who it is, it's the non the ex May United player, Wes Brown. Wes Brown was an ex May United player, and we, Crew were thinking about getting him, and that big great sign for Crew, it really was. So I wouldn't mind seeing Wes Brown in a Crew shirt. And then we've got Michael Reigns, and we've got Chris Porter from Colchester United. Chris Porter might do well for Crew. If Colchester Col United fans want to give me some detail or any information about how Chris Porter played for you guys, just let me know. And I don't know, who, I can't remember where we got Michael Reigns from, but hopefully he does well for Crew because I've heard good things about them and heard that they've got decent, they've got great attitudes towards the club. So. That'd be really good to see him play the crew shirt. Now with Morecambe, I think Morecambe finished below the crew in Notts County um, <clears throat> last season. But all I'm saying is, I don't think these teams are just crap. Just, maybe just the top half of the table. But I, I'm a bit eh about these ones because crew Notts County might get the top half of the table to be fair. Because I think they might do it this year, this season because Dave Artell has met, has many like tactics and options on the bench and everything like that to get crew to where they want to be. But I've heard Dave Artell wants to get crew back to Wembley to go like to go to promotion and win as many trophies as possible. But I have seen that our first game is the um, well, our first game is Manchester Town. And I think Crew may win that one to be fair. But Bolton Wonders in the in what we call the FA Cup. But it's got a new name to it, it's called the Purple Rule Cup. I can't really pronounce it, but Crew got Bolton Wonders, that is not gonna be a good game for Crew. Because I mean I'll be happy if Crew beat Bolton Wonders. It'd be a good game and it's home, so so Crew fans have to go down to Bolton, Bolton coming to us. To, to come on our turf, but that should be that should be a good game to go and watch. Um, but we don't know how it's going to go. But even though we've got three signings, we've got Michael Reigns, Chris Porter, and a, a loan signing who we had from Leighton Orient. I think it was from Leighton Orient was uh, Jordan Bowery. So that's three signings. For now we haven't got any more signings from the which is a bit. West Brown <laughs> but that's our second game is Bolton Wonders so that was second game to be the Rubio Cup I can't remember it's because I imagine had many games I've had many games over the past seasons <laughs> but I'm calling the Epic Cup because it's what it basically is to be fair but I'm looking at the fixtures now and this See? Easy to start off with. Because August is our first. August is the first game of the season. Our first game is Mansfield. And then Newport, Barn and Vale. Okay? That's the top. That's, that's the first start of game to start the game. But anyway, let's continue with the next load of um, predictions to tell you guys where your team may end up at the end of the season. Alright, so let's continue with the table and we're going to go from the 12th to 7th position. Now from the 12th to 7th position, we have got Grimsby Town, Accrington Stanley, Crew's Rivals, Port Vale. Now, I'll explain all that in a minute. Luton Town, Stevenage and Cambridge United. Now, with Grimsby Town, I think they must have been... I think they got relegated from League One. <laughs> But I think they might have a great season in the league too, to be fair. Because like, they might have a good season underneath the manager and bring in some great players. I've not seen any transfers for any other team except my one. Except my team. Arkham Stanley, I, I think they might have a good season next season. Because I think they finished way above crew in the season last season. 
I think they had a good season and I think they might have a good season again. So I think they might come eleventh in the table. Now, tenth place Port Vale. If I'm thinking Aaron, if you're a crew fan, you're supposed to be harsh against your a rival team. Well, it says what it is. I think Vale might crack it, crack it this season because they got promoted to League One, but then they got relegated back to League Two. But I've heard some things from the fans saying that, pe that um, Chris Porter or Mag no, Michael Rangers is centre back, that Chris Porter might be running rings around Joe Davis for Vale. So <laughs> I, I, I hope all these strikers will be running rings around every single Port Vale player. Because if, if we do, that'd be, that'd be just good. Good tactics whatsoever. But we're all counting on Dave Artel because he's. He'll be the new manager for the 2017-2018 season. As, as Steve Davis got the sack a few months ago, because it was halfway through, the, halfway through the season, but well, halfway through the season, near enough to end of the season, where Harry Harry Davis got sent sent down to Scotland. They got Miller got released off his contract, and Steve Davis just got the sack because he just wasn't doing very well. So, yeah, was it? I can't remember how long ago it was, but Steve Davis got the sack and we brought in ex crew player Dave Artel for our manager. So now for the ninth place, I've gone for Luton Town. I thought with Luton Town, if they got promoted from League Two, oh, sorry, from the Conference League, I can't exactly remember where they finished. I think they were in the in our league or the Conference League. I can't remember, but let them just check if everything's been refreshed so I can have a look. Luton finished fourth in League Two last season. Now, I've put Luton down to go ninth this season because I, I mean, Luton may have some decent players playing for them, but I don't, I don't think Luton will have the chance this time to go to fourth place. And you'd be surprised if I've got in fourth place for next season, but you'll have to find out. Now, for eighth place, I've gone for Stevenage. With Stevenage, they finished 10th last season. I mean, th the facts were on the screen all the time because I haven't refreshed the page of BBC yet about the tables. But <clears throat> Stevenage finished 10th, and I've put Stevenage to finish 8th because I think cause St Stevenage may have finished. T um, I think Stevenage might have it this season to finish a bit higher than they expected because I'm pretty sure they wanted to go up to where they want to be. Well, I'm pretty sure Stevenage wanted to be higher in the table, than, higher than higher than a bit they were from tenth. But I've, I've got you to finish eighth because I think you might have a good season next season. To be fair, but just looking at your facts here. We got two losses and some and draws and a lot of loss. Two wins, four, five losses and the rest of draws for your last few games this season. But I think you might have a good season. I think you might, I think you might, have, I think you might have a great season next season. So I think you might finish eighth place. So that'd be good for you guys. Now for the seventh place, we have gone for Cambridge. Well, not we've. I've gone for Cambridge United. Now, Cambridge. Where did they finish? They, they finished eleventh last season, and I put I put it to finish eighth, <coughs> seventh above <laughs> above Stevenage. But with your record, you've got one, two, three. For five wins out of uh, out of the last few games you played, uh, <coughs> and your favourite on sixty-six points. But Stevenage finished on six, six, sixty-seven points, and Cambridge finished on sixty-six points. But I think Cambridge might have it as well. I mean, every team might have it this season to be finishing the table higher than they expected, to be fair. But I hope that 
Cambridge and Stevenage finished where I've said, as you see on the table here. But I just I hope we have a good season. Uh, everyone, every team will try their best have a good season to be fair. But I know Crew might have a good season, great season this season because reason being, we've got a new manager, Dave Bartel. I think he might have the right ideas and right plan to do anything to get Crew to where he wants them to be. But I'll put Crew change for the team. I just don't feel it. I don't feel it this season, but if you finish more at Highland 14, I'll do a reaction video at, at the end of the season to see where everyone finished up. Now, let's go with the last six on the table. Last six are going to be Carlisle United, Barnet, Coventry City, Exeter City, Swindon Town, and Colchester United. Now, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty sure that those top six will happen. I don't know about Barnet. Barnet was a bit of a meh sort of decision because I put I I've already filmed this video once and I put one team who was wrong on the table and who's gone up to a league one. So I had to refilm it so I'm refilming it now for you guys. Barnet might be a meh decision but if Barnet finish fifth, I'd be shocked to be fair. But for Carlisle United finish 6, where did Carlisle United finish last season? Did they finish 6 as well as last season? They finished on 71 points and I'm leaving it on, this, on position 6 on the table because I think under your manager you might have a great season with the new like, table and fixtures come out but I don't know who the first team is. Okay so Carlisle United's first game is Swindon Town. That could be a tough game for, for Carlisle United, but I hope Carlisle United... Well, just looking at your last game for, at the end of the season, you lost 3-2 to Exeter City. Now, I don't know what went wrong. If you guys want to tell me, Carlisle United fans want to tell me in the comments below what went wrong during that game. I'll be happily... Well, I'd happily do a comment reaction video to what you guys think for next season. Um, Carlisle United finished sixth last season. I'm gonna get you guys to stay on, stay in sixth place, okay? Because uh, I think you guys might do it and stay in that position. Now, first fifth place, I've got Barnet. Yeah, you know, that was a rough decision, Barnet was, because because that's just totally a big difference in the table. <laughs> At this moment, I know I messed up, but that's just a wrong decision for me to put Barnet up there. <clears throat> because Barnet finished 15 last season. But in Barnet's prison table, which was 5th, I put Barnet to finish 5th. But Exeter City did finish 5th last season. Yeah, because there's teams have gone up and teams have gone, come down. So it's made me made a me, me decision for me. But Barnet finished 15 last season. But I'm gonna say Barnet will finish fifth. I don't know if you will. You might finish way below the fifth position, but Barnet, you can see you've got passion behind your behind the team to finish fifth. Put down in, in the comments um pray for Barnet. Okay. Now the fourth place I've put Coventry City. Now I think Coventry might have a great season next season because let's see where they finished last season. Uh, well saying that, <laughs> as Coventry City were in League One last season, they got relegated from League One. But I think Coventry City might have a good season if their manager does really well and gets in the players he wants. And and if Coventry City beat most teams, who's their first game of the season? The first game for Coventry City is Notts County. So where Matt Tootle, ex-crew player again, plays for Notts County. I think Coventry might have got a game against Notts County. I'm gonna make a prediction for you Coventry fans now that you might finish 2-1. Okay, so Coventry City may finish 2-1 against Coventry, uh, Notts County. Now, let's have a look at at the top three positions. We have got Exeter, Swindon Town and Colchester United. 
Now, Exeter City last season, they finished... Exeter City last season, they finished 5th in the table. They finished on 71 points. But I think Exeter City might have a good season. And they may finish higher than they expect underneath their manager. Because, obviously, obviously, I'm not seeing anyone's transfers except Cruz. But I just I hope that these top three teams are going to have it, have it, just like cruise through the league next season. I really hope we do. To be fair, but Exeter, Swindon. But when, when, when you think of the teams, I think oh they're a good team. They sound like they sound like a good team. That they'll cruise through the league. Well, I really hope the top three teams really cruise through the league. Now for second position, I've got Swindon Town. Swindon Town. Last season they finished. Swindon Town got relegated from League One last season. They finished on 44 points. But they had three losses, two wins, two draws, and then the rest of their losses. But with the team that are there now, I think if Swindon have the momentum, right players, and right tactics, I reckon it'll cruise to the, to the top three. Of the tip, top three of the um, table, so that'd be pretty good. Now for the first position on the table, I've gone for Col Colchester United from from where where crew got Chris Porter signed from. Now with Colchester United being top of the table, where did they finish last season? Colchester United last season they finished eighth in the table. They finished with sixty nine points. With five wins. Two losses and three draws for the rest of the games of the season. Now, the reason I say Kosher is that they might do it this season because top three teams in League One went up. They went Doncaster, Plymouth, and Portsmouth went up last season. Now I'm thinking Kosher's that it might have a fantastic season with new signings and everything like that. And I reckon Kosher's that will have it at the top of the table this season. And I hope they get relegated. So <laughs> I'm just in the video. And I just heard myself say, I hope Colchester United get relegated to League One. I meant Colchester United get promoted to League One. So, I hope that happens. Let's continue with the video. League One. Well, I'm not saying they might, but if Colchester United finish top of the table, I'd be pleased then. Because basically, at the end of the season, I'm going to get, I'm going to basically do a reaction video to me doing this prediction um, video. Don't go too hard on me about where these t teams have finished because. I know a few of them are really wrong, but I've chose like Barnet. Barnet finished what 15th last season. That's just a big margin of where Barnet will finish. But I think the bottom lot won't have it to be fair. Like Forest Green Rovers, as I said, they sound like a Sunday League team. Sorry. <laughs> but the Forest Green, Lincoln City, and Cheltenham Town just don't think they'll crack it. That. I don't think they'll have a good, good um, season next season and they might get relegated, so who knows. Yeah, now guys, that is my EFL League 2 table prediction video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like rating, subscribe for more videos like this, and I hope the predictions are going to be correct or incorrect. We'll find that out in the season, and hopefully you guys will enjoy, enjoy more game highlights from me and reactions from me. So. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like rating, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.